Hello and welcome to product overview for the service level agreement monitor. The SLA monitor allows you to apply response times to cases based on priority. Now every organization is different and the way they treat their service level agreements is also different. So for instance you may be in a technology firm that needs to track uh, help desk response times and fix times. Equally you may be in an investment bank uh, looking to manage those service inquiries from your clients uh, about their portfolios and so forth. So every client is unique and the great thing about the SLA monitor is that it can be tailored to your unique service level agreement needs. So for instance you can add your own types of SLA uh, and obviously those resolution times. You can also use the stop the clock facility so if you need to temporarily put on hold uh, a case that you're uh, working with in order to investigate or do some research you can do so. And it also benefits from time zone recognition and also the ability to uh, configure in public holidays uh, to ensure that they form part of the service level agreement uh, as it's moving along. Uh, it also has a red, amber, green breach view to help you prioritize and manage the most important cases, particularly ones that have gone past their deadline uh, in order to uh, get those quickly uh, resolved. So overall, it's a great uh, additional element to the standard Microsoft CRM facility to help you ensure your client service levels are met. It's available for Microsoft CRM version 4 and also version 2011 on-premise. So let's go ahead and take a look at the product. Okay, so hopefully most of you will be familiar with the idea of a case. This is the area in Microsoft CRM where you can store any kind of uh, issue or incident or uh, request uh, that the client makes. And here we've got a list of different cases on this particular uh, account. Let's go ahead and open up the service inquiry and have a look at this particular case. Okay, so here we are on the service inquiry case and uh, we can see we've stored some of the standard information that you're able to store uh, in Microsoft CRM, such as the case type, the satisfaction level, case origin and so forth. But if we move to the SLA area here, this is where you'll start to see the enhanced capability that is delivered by the SLA monitor. So straight away we can see this is linked to a particular calendar type and in this case we have a link to the standard calendar. You can set different types of calendars uh, to suit your particular needs. You can also allocate time zones for specific cases. So here we can see this is unique to the London time frame. In this particular case, we've set a respond and a resolve SLA type. Now, you are free to create any amount of particular types of service levels, and you can apply different timings to those as well. So in this particular case, the respond SLA is two hours, and the resolve SLA is eight hours. So at the moment, we are one hour into the respond SLA, which means we're at 50% of that going into breach. We've obviously got the time when this was uh, logged originally, and we've also got uh, how much time is left until we reach that uh, breach point. Now that relates specifically to the respond SLA. Now for the resolve SLA, the resolve SLA was set at eight hours. Uh, we're currently uh, seven hours before we reach that point, and so we're at 12.5% uh, of the way to reaching that uh, particular point. So these are all things that you can uh, set uh, when you originally uh, create the SLA to, uh, to meet your particular needs. And the really useful facility is the ability to stop the clock whenever you need to. So it may be that you need to stop the clock on just the respond time, in which case you can do a respond override. Or you may need to stop the clock on the resolve time, so we can do that here on the resolve override. If you need to stop the clock completely on the entire case, you can simply move up to the standard area here and just put everything onto on hold, and that will obviously move things into an on hold basis. So these are the facilities that are built into the SLA monitor, and uh, we can tie in the calendar uh, into uh, the standard contract record uh, if that's a preference uh, for your particular needs as well. Now for the end user, there's also a very useful facility for looking at uh, all of the cases uh, and particularly the ones that are going into breach. 
Okay, here's a quick view of the SLA case queue, and this allows you to look at all of the cases that are going into breach, and you can see they're color-coded into a kind of red and a green format, and that helps you to quickly identify the cases that need attention and allows you to ensure that you meet your service level agreements working with your clients. Thank you for watching the SLA Monitor demonstration. This enhancement for Dynamic CRM allows you to apply response times to cases based on the order of priority. But very importantly, it gives you the flexibility as it will allow you to tailor based on your own specific SLA needs. You can add resolution times and your own SLA times. SLA allows you to stop the clock and also configure based on time zone recognition. SLA also provides very intuitive red, amber, green reach view to help you recognize and prioritize case resolution. The SLA monitor will ensure your client service levels are always met. SLA monitor is available for Microsoft Dynamics CRM versions 4 and 2011 on-premise. So for further information, call CG Software or email us info at cgsoftware.com or visit our website for more information of this and other product enhancements. Thank you.